Still on the health front, the newly appointed Gauteng MEC for Health Dr. Nomatemba Mukherjee earlier today joined Premier David Makura and MEC for Infrastructure and Property Management Tasneem Mutara on a site visit to Jubilee District Hospital in Tswane to assess the progress of the newly built Alternative Building Technology Facility. The new facility, which is made up of five intensive care units and five high care units, was built as part of Gauteng Provincial Government's comprehensive health response to COVID-19 and to relieve pressure from the main Jubilee Hospital post the pandemic. Dr. Nomatemba Mukherjee joins us now. Very good evening to you and thank you so much for speaking to us. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, good evening and thanks for having me. Hmm. I, I just thought it would be, um, you know, prudent to marry what the WHO briefing was talking about with this new facility, 300 uh, bedded hospital. Um, you saying that it's going to be ready in anticipation of the festive season and the uh, second surge of COVID-19. Would it be able to do some of these things that are required in terms of vaccine opportunities and preparedness? Um, um, thank you very much. Uh, with regard to the vaccines and the implementation of that, I'm still awaiting a report from the department. So I will be able to engage uh, on it at a later stage. Okay, but let's talk about the facilities at this new hospital. What is new age about it? How is it going to be able to expand the hospital system ca capacity and capabilities? Yes, um, if you can look at the current, uh, the old structure of the Jubilee Hospital, it had limited uh, beds and then um, you find that some of the patients could not be admitted. But this new facility, it will come handy because it will be able to uh, accommodate uh, about um, 60 uh, beds by um, before the festive season. And then they will be ready uh, by, um, I think, to be uh, almost full capacity by January and, and February. Mm. Is there anything new that it will be able to offer other than extra beds? I mean, the Premier himself saying it offered a great opportunity. Yes, it will. Um, especially, I had um, uh, as a World Health Organization, they also speak about mental health. Uh, in most of our facilities, we are running short of beds uh, 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 to cater for mental health uh, patients. It will also be able to offload uh, that um, the burden that we have in terms of uh, having extra beds for mental health. A new technology at all? New technology, yes, um, the beds and um, the um, uh, oxygen facilities, uh, they are also there and the ventilators. Uh, it will be, uh, it's an upmarket uh, facility, it's a state of the art uh, facility. You can go and see that it is fully uh, equipped. Uh, pardon me for, for pushing you on this, MEC. MEC, when you say state of the art, I, I guess we're just trying to glean into is there anything new that it's offering? For instance, if we look at the, the kind of testing that was done for COVID-19, that has evolved as we understand more and more about the disease. Is there anything that this facility is bringing to uh, the table? The uh, Premier, for instance, saying that this facility will also be able to integrate old infrastructure with the new how is it going to do that uh, for instance um, um, if you have a, a, a pregnant mother admitted a pregnant woman admitted in the ward you, the, the, and uh, the diagnosed with COVID you don't have to push her out to uh, x-rays you can be able to do the x-rays whilst um, the patient is uh, in bed so that is uh, some of the uh, 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 facilities that uh, that uh, um, uh, 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 a hospital will provide. Okay, so you've made an appeal to communities uh, to ensure that they continue being cautious and apply non-pharmaceutical uh, COVID-19 interventions. Uh, what would you say people should really be doing in being responsible during this festive season? What I would advise uh, people to do, remember our health um, 
professionals have been working um, and they are now uh, fatigued and we need to help them as well to minimize the admissions to the hospitals. They must make sure that they are keep they keep on their masks and then they are washing their hands and make sure that they are practicing safe uh, distancing and avoid uh, overcrowded uh, places so that um, they also prevent themselves from getting the, the virus or contracting the, the, the virus. All right, final question. You are taking over... Dr. Bandile Masuku as health MEC, what is your vision? And I'd like to ask this, especially in line of one of the reasons, the major reasons actually why he was sacked, and that was the issue of oversight. How are you going to improve on what he did? And do you think you understand exactly what is being asked of you? Um, I think I do understand what is being asked uh, of me and I, I, I also agree that that is a huge responsibility. And maybe to put it up front that uh, Dr. Masuku um, did very well and he assembled, he managed to assemble a good team uh, of experts. And uh, for me to be able to uh, play oversight, I, I think the Premier has also assisted me by appointing a team of expect uh, to deal with uh, some of the issues and reporting uh, to me. And um, as I will be getting reports and uh, I will also be able to see where the gaps were and then be able to strategize and make sure that uh, I address those issues. Do you think uh, his impending court case will help you to do that? What if uh, the courts find in his favor? Because he was contesting uh, the lines which were drawn on oversight, ask, uh, saying that they're effectively asking him to overreach. Are you going to wait and see what the outcome of that is? And unfortunately, I cannot comment on the issue of the court because it's still sub judicial. I, I don't think it would be fair for me to comment on that one. All right. Thank you very much. Gauteng Health MEC, Noma Temba Mocheti.